Firing there. Our next speaker is the executive director of the Citizens Alliance for Responsibility. She's an author of 19 books, mostly about energy, communication, and Christian living. She believes in our way of life and saving jobs is what she believes in. Now, also, her op-ed was published today in the Roswell Daily Record. Help me welcome Miss Marita Noon. today to care about our jobs in New Mexico. I want to ask you a couple questions. How many of you, probably from history books, because by looking at the crowd, most of you are no, not old enough, but how many of you remember the idea of homesteading? Do you remember what homesteading is about? Yeah. Some of you do. Did it, do any of you have family that homesteaded land? Yeah. Some of you do. I have a book in front of me. And in this book, it talks about historical places, and it says, It was April 1879, nearly 100 years ago, that Dr. Adolphus Noon, who had served with the Union forces in the Civil War, chose to settle in this area. My family roots homesteaded land in the southwestern part of this country. Now, do you know what that was different then from now? At that time... We had federal government, we had federal employees who encouraged growth. We had federal government that encouraged expansion. We had government that wanted people to grow, to be successful, and to expand. But you know what? That was 100 years ago. And things have changed between then and now. Now, I personally talked to Sharna Lefton yesterday. She's going to be over there to take your comments tonight. And I hope each and every one of you will go there. But I called her yesterday and I talked to her while she was in the Dallas airport on her way to Midland. And I talked to her about the article she had in the paper that said that there was no data to support that jobs would be lost because the listing of the lizard. I asked her about that, and she said, well, there is no data. There's no study one way or the other. Well, you know what? We don't need a study because you know what? We have history. And history tells us that the Endangered Species Act is more about control than it is about the critters. than I am because he called them his drunken friends. I like to call them the watermelons because they are green on the outside like environmentalism. But when you study what they do day in and day out like I do, you have to say to yourself, why are they doing this? They're going to ruin America. And when you look closely at what they're doing, you realize that that is their goal because they are red on the inside, like neo-communism, neo-socialism, are boiled down to just control. If you did not get a smash the watermelon bumper sticker, my friend Paula will get them for you. She's got a bag full of them there. Energy makes America great bumper stickers and a pen that says smash the watermelons. And it is, of course, green on the outside, but red on the inside. Now remember, you said, why haven't they done a study? And I said to you, they don't need to do a study because you know what? We have history on our side. We have the history of the spotted owl that was listed as an endangered species 20 plus years ago. And you know what that spotted owl listing did? It did not protect the spotted owl. There are still less spotted owls now than there were 20 plus years ago. Spotted owls have been found in places that they aren't supposed to like because they're only supposed to like this certain kind of trees. But you know what that endangered species listing did? It killed the logging industry. 
It killed the entire logging industry of the Pacific Northwest. In Oregon, it used to be that 50% of the harvest came from federal lands. Now in Oregon, less than 10% comes from federal lands. We don't need to do a study because we have history. Here in southern New Mexico, in the Gila Forest, we have people that have ranched that land in one family for more than 100 years. But you know what has happened because of endangered species listings? They're not allowed to have mechanized equipment on that land, on those federal lands that they use for grazing. On that land, they have had to take mules, 250 loads of concrete on mules to hand mix to repair. We have other cases where mules are mandated by, the, by our federal government. And not only are the mules mandated, but those mules are mandated to be fed certified weed-free hay. We are in the worst economic crisis in our lifetimes. Do you think our federal government should be worrying about certified weed-free hay? This book I showed you earlier, the title of this book is Ghost Towns and Historical Haunts in Arizona. If we do not stop this endangered species listing for the lizard, for the lesser prairie chicken, and whatever else they come up with down the road, all of southeastern New Mexico is going to become like the Pacific Northwest and be full of ghost towns. Thank you.